Hey guys, Fubbleek here today and welcome to City Skylines Natural Disasters. This is Safe City. It is a beautiful little place somewhere in Europe, I assume, because we've got all these beautiful wall-to-wall -wall buildings, a nice hospital and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's obvious what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be destroying it. Uh, repeatedly to see what all the disasters look like. Uh, so obviously I just built this with Unlock All on and, and unlimited funds and all that, just so we could see what would happen. Um, so before we get into all the disasters which are in here, and believe me, there's quite, there's quite a lot of them, uh, we'll get into that very shortly, but we'll go through some of the new buildings that help you sort of, I guess, mitigate the disasters. Obviously disasters are completely optional. So you don't have to have them on if you don't want them. And if you have them turned off, like, uh, to randomly happen, you can just place them whenever you want through here. Which is great, because uh, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So, in the sort of fire department tab, there's a new little tab here for disaster services. Um, and really, you've got all the buildings that you need. So you've got the disa disaster response unit, which is a freaking huge building. I've put it over here. Um, you can see it's freaking massive. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, it doesn't really suit this city very well, but uh, anyway, the disaster response unit sends out helicopters and trucks carrying personnel to help clear rubble, rescue survivors, they handle both disaster aftermath and burn down buildings. After re the response unit has done their work, the ground is free for rebuilding. Uh, then next up, we have a couple of emergency shelters where, you know, citizens can go in the event of, like, so if we send out a warning, you know, say a meteor is coming, get to shelter. I've put a bunch of these small little emergency shelters all around the city. Each of these hold a thousand people. People. The larger ones do 10,000, but we don't even have that many people, so... Uh, oh, actually, we have 18,000. Mm, maybe I'll, I'll get one large one, maybe in the middle somewhere. <laughs> A large one. Um, didn't realize I had 18,000 people here. Oh, well, some people are mm, not going to survive. Maybe by the, the... I probably should... You know what? Let me replace this one. Buy that one there, because it's right by the sort of subway station. Maybe they can get... I don't know if getting the subway during a disaster is the best idea, but... You know what? Uh, who cares? Uh, I would like to get another one, actually, because I don't know that I have enough now. Well, so we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, not everybody can get in a shelter, so sorry about that, guys. Did not plan that one through. Ooh. It doesn't matter. Uh, it really doesn't matter. So, then, next up, we have a couple of radio masks. So these, I actually got the large one, which I didn't really need to do because we've got a pretty small city. But these basically broadcast the warning. So it, this is what sends out the warning to your citizens so they know to go to a shelter if needs be. Uh, and then, I, yeah, so you've got the large one or the smaller one, obviously just different prices and uh, different upkeep and all that. Next up, we have all the sensors that help us detect uh, m impending disasters. So we have the earthquake sensor, which as you can see, these all just have a range. You can sort of put them around uh, so you can tell if something's going to happen. And then, of course, we also have the tsunami warning buoy or buoy. Uh, I've just put that in the water over there because I assume it will come. I don't know how it works. You know what? Let's get another one down here. Let's, get, let's just get them along the water. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, so those go along there. And then I've got a couple of these. We've got the, the weather radar, which uh, will take care of thunderstorms and tornadoes. And then lastly, we have the deep space radar, which will do meteor strikes and that. So we have the deep space radar there. Uh, the weather radar... Where did I put that? Hmm. Right there, we've got the fire helicopter department too, which is new. Uh, where did I put the weather radar? Is there any... Oh, there. Is that it? Yeah, weather radar. There it is. Uh, I mean... You probably wouldn't put it there in real life, but let's not worry about that. Anyway, this is Safay City. Isn't it lovely? Let me, you know what, let me, let me just save real quick, because I'm going gonna, gonna to do this multiple times. Right, let's have a look at the disasters. So first up, I haven't even seen half of these yet, so we're going to go through them. For, uh, well, first up, I guess it's a tornado. Uh, let's have that rip through... Let's just go through, like, the center of the town, like, right about there. Here we go. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Uh-oh. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. So I guess what we should start seeing now... Uh, so, an intensity of 5.5 .5 is about to hit the city, so we'll come in this area here. I assume we'll see people going to the shelter. Where are the shelters? You know what? Hang on, let me... Let's find them, because I haven't, I haven't seen them do this yet. So, shelters, we've got one there, one there, one there. So we should be able to see... Are people going to start running in here? No. 92% food. Uh... Zero people are in there. I think one person just left, actually. So <laughs> I think someone just left that shelter. Like, yeah, screw it. No one's in there. How about this one? Well, it's got a road on it. That's nice. Uh, no one's going in there. I mean, that's not really the, the disaster zone. It's over here. Really, we should see this one having some people in it. Although, well, people don't seem to care. Um... But I guess it's it's incoming, so we'll have to wait and see. 
Uh, is anyone... Oh, hello. Is anyone going in here yet? Zero. Okay. Well, apparently my citizens don't really care about it. Oh, it's raining. Not that that has anything to do with anything. I don't... I assume it doesn't. That's just from... Oh, hang on. Here we go. Oh. A tornado has touched down in the area. Oh, my God. Seek shelter immediately if oh any is available. God. That's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a little... Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, that that's bigger than I thought. Oh, my God. There's cars in it. <gasps> that is awesome. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this. This is, this is crazy. Oh, my God. I mean, it did just destroy all my hard work. Um, I don't think anyone went into my shelter. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That's incredible. Oh, my gosh. Look at the cars being thrown up. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Oh, God. We've got a thunderstorm coming in naturally anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> is anyone in these? Zero people. I sent out a warning. And no one's gone to the bloody shelters. No, nah, everyone's just driving around like nothing's wrong. You guys suck. Oh, that's cool though. That, <laughs> that's really, really cool. Uh, that's absolutely just decimated this whole area there. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love that it... So when the cars land, do they just land like randomly on the road somewhere? Or like... Or do they just disappear? I think they're just disappearing when they land. Oh no. They're all like littered all around. Look at that. Huh. Look at that. I want to screenshot that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they just dumped the cars everywhere. That's so cool. Wow. All right, let's fast forward now. I, th I, think, I think we get the idea. Nope. Oh, my little radar's gone. Look at it go. That's awesome. That's so cool. All right. Well, that was our... Uh, so we've got a storm with a severity of one about to happen as well. Uh, but let's reload Safay City and check out the next disaster. Alright, next up, we have the Earthquake. Let's again just go right in the middle here. Let's see what warning we get. Warning. Experts predict an earthquake could hit the area soon. Incoming Earthquake. Right there. Alright. So we've got an incoming Earthquake hitting the area soon. I don't know if I'm a fan of the voice. Warning! Experts indicate an earthquake with an expected intensity of 5.5. That's not how they said it, but still. <laughs> right, so now are people going to go to me shelters? I don't know. Do I? Hang on. Maybe I need to do this. Incoming earthquake. Do I have to... Oh, activates all shell... Oh. I think that's what I was supposed to do. But like I said, I haven't done it before, so... <laughs> I think I hit the button. Okay, get out of this mode. What are you doing? There we go. So, now I guess everyone flocks towards all the evacuation shelters, right? I just saw some- I just saw a car go in. There we go. So now we're getting some people in them. Get to the shelters! Go! Oh my god, look how many people are running. Look at this! That's awesome! That's just really cool. I like that. The food is going down. Oh, you animals are just eating. Oh! 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 oh, oh. Hang on. Let's go into this view. It doesn't shake the camera as much. Let's send this view. Oh, that was a weird way to say occurring. An earthquake is occurring! Look at that! Oh my god! It's actually deforming the terrain as well, all the way through there. Can you, can you do it a bit more though? I want to see it like, really have like a... I guess it's only a 5.5. I, I, I assume it goes up to 10, all of these ratings. Like, obviously the earthquake rating... I don't know, I don't know if it's using the actual real-world earthquake rating, or if it's just like an in-game rating of 5.5. That's cool. Oh. That was fun. Open disaster reports. Oh, cool. Aftermath. Citizens lost 514. Wow, that's a bad earthquake. Building destroyers 82. Roads destroyed 1660 meters. Building set on fire 20. That's cool. Then we got that little helicopters coming in. <laughs> nice. All right, next. Okay, time for the sinkhole. What are we? Let's get rid of the university. Uh, actually, no. Let's go over here. There's just more buildings here. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike right. at any Go to your little evacuation. Should take precautionary measures. So we should see... I assume that this is just going to create a big hole, right? And destroy any buildings that are on top of it. So we'll, I guess we'll see. Anyway, so everyone should start flocking towards me shelters. I mean, this city... <laughs> Safay City... Is a... Bit dangerous. I, I, I just... I love... 
them all like running in there, except for these guys waiting for the bus. They're like, nah, screw it, I'm getting the bus. I'm out. Yeah, I, I love just seeing them all run in there. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so we should see it any second now. Come on. Sinkhole with the size of 5.5. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's just using in-game measurements. A lot of people going into that one over there as well. 270. Got 1,400 people. Oh, here we go. Hang on, jump in this. Ooh. Oh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. That's kind of cool, though. I, re I like. I really like the little animation it does, where like the buildings actually go down. Like the buildings don't just disappear; they actually like sort of fall down into it. That's really cool. Oh, look how dirty the road is now. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. These are, they, I gotta say, these are re so far really nicely done disasters. Really nice. Next. Alrighty, the thunderstorm. Here we go. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother evacuating people for this. I mean, grow up. It's just a thunderstorm. All it's going to do is... Well, there'll be a storm, obviously, but I, it was going to set stuff on fire, I assume. You can set buildings and forests on fire. A thunderstorm needs an entry point. I mean, it needs an entry point. It's a thunderstorm. Forest fire. Well, that's quite self-explanatory as well. I'm going to set that over there. <laughs> we'll set it over there for now. Like, I mean, I might as well just do that one as well at the same time. Uh, fire. You can... Can you just like, set off the Chicago fire? Is that where that fire, that great fire was with that Chicago? Oh, there, oh look, there's a, that's a forest fire. Yeah, so that's what the forest fire looks like. I thought I'd just do that now. I don't think we need to reload for that. Whoa! Nice. A thunderstorm Ooh. is battering the city. Stay indoors it's battering the city. I don't know if I'd say battering because it doesn't even... It looks still really blue skies over there, so... Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still like really sunny though. It's like really bright. Like I feel like it should be a bit darker. But I gotta say, if nothing else, this provides some awesome screenshots. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta say, okay, yeah, no, 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 you know what? I was laughing at the fact that like, ooh, a thunderstorm! But this is a <laughs> it's a pretty intense thunderstorm. I mean the freaking hospital's on fire! Of all buildings, the hospital's on fire! Well, I say of all building, it is one of the tallest buildings, so I guess it makes sense. Um, <laughs> the hospital's on fire. Uh, not great. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not very dark, though. I feel like it should be a bit darker. It's alright, though. My little city's holding up. Oh, isn't that nice? Alright, let's fast forward here a little bit. I don't, this one's a little bit more manageable. The high school's on fire. The kids won't mind that. Uh... And then our forest fire, they, that's what you can see the forest fire did, left the ground all scorched. And some dead trees, which is quite a nice little detail there. Um, and it looks like we're, we're good. Looks like the storm has rolled out and it's time for the next one. Okay, next up. Collapse, just collapse, just general collapse, let's go. Does this just go immediately? Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> just gone. Just gone. Let's get rid of the high school. <laughs> I love no. I really, I really love the animations that this does on all the buildings. Get the, get rid of the university. Wait for it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> really? Oh, you no. We really need to do something like a skyscraper, right? Uh, I don't really have any. But I the unlock. You feel like the unlock all mod should have a few more things. Hang on. Get rid of that. Put this in. And then go. Wait, hang on. Here we go. Wait, this side. Better lighting. Yeah. Here we go. Wait for- Oh! <laughs> Gone! That is awesome. Oh my god. I only wish that it created more of an effect in the surrounding area, especially a building that tall. But that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Alright, let's do the next one. So the next one is just a building fire, which I don't think is anything special, so I'm not going to bother with that one. We have the tsunami! Alright, this will be a bit of fun. Everyone's always wanting me to flood cities, so let's go there. Here we go. Tsunami. Now, I think there's actually... Is this going to warn me, or is this just going to happen? Don't do it. I don't know what I did. Um, now, I believe there's, if we go into water, there's actually a few new things here. We have the pumping service. Uh, 
has a fleet of vacuum trucks that are sent out when there are flooded buildings in the city. The trucks can travel as close to the location as they can upon encountering water, fill the, uh, the tanks with it. So you can actually combat flooding with these trucks. Uh, there's a few other things as well, like a fresh water outlet if you're pumping too much water, and there's a kind of a bunch of stuff. Let's try to get one of these, because um, maybe we can get these trucks to uh, help us out a little bit. Get another one there. Do these? Yeah, new plumbed in as well. Oh, I might have built that too close to the <laughs> water pipe there. Hang on. There, there, there. Cool. Now. Is there a tsunami coming? I am not sure. I feel like I did it, but it didn't really... Cool down 15 seconds. Maybe I should just do it over the land. Because I don't think that did anything. <laughs> uh, I'm aware, nothing's happening. Hmm. A wave is created in the sea and travels to... Oh, maybe I need a sea. There's a sea there. But... Travels towards... Safarity de depends on the height of the wave. Depending on the map, it can take quite a long time for the tsunami effect to be seen. Oh. Maybe... It's far away. Oh! Hello! Here we go! There's definitely a wave traveling back in from the coast. There's two of them. I mean, it's getting here. I'm just not convinced that it's ever gonna make it. <laughs> like, it's, it's taking its time. I, I can't tell if it's slowing down, but even yeah, five point five. It doesn't even seem like um when it gets here, it's gonna do much. Oh, hello! Wow! Oh, tsunami over here! Whoa! Watch out, guys! Uh, I'll see if it ever hits the city. Oh my god! That seems like an overreaction. That woman. A tsunami has hit the city. When it's like a windmill and a couple of sewage pipes, like chill, just chill out. It's not that bad. Nah, it's not gonna make it. It's just not gonna make it. Anyway, you, you get the idea. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you know what's gonna happen if it did make it. Last but not least, the meteor strike. It's probably actually this is probably gonna create more of a tsunami than the tsunami, by the way, because if we, especially if we do it in the water or like on the edge, it will like splash up the water and it'll go everywhere. So let's do it right here in the middle. So. All right, everyone go to your little bunkers. A meteor is about- they always seem to be 5.5. Maybe 5.5 is the maximum, and we're just getting the maximum intensity of these things. I'm not sure. Couldn't tell ya? But that's my guess. All right, well, let's wait for this thing to come in, because my camera should pan to it when it gets here. We're sending everyone to the bunkers as well. There's a fire there. Fire before the disasters even happen. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> good stuff, guys. Uh, minus 27,000, minus 30, that's fine, we don't have anyone. Well, we're unlimited money, so it doesn't matter. Oh, we're getting in the bunkers, very nice. That building's on fire, not great. Uh, they're all running in there. Oh, here we go, okay. Right, let's, uh, jump into me camera. Is that it there? Oh, wow. It's just, it's literally just a, uh... When it's paused, it doesn't look like much, does it? Hang on. Here we go. Four. Whoa. <laughs> nice. A meteor strike has occurred. Yeah, no. Da, a meteor strike has occurred, you stupid woman. I just saw it. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's creating more of a tsunami than the tsunami. Let's send a couple more. <laughs> Let's send a couple more, shall we? One there. One there. One there. One there. Destroy the bridge as well, why not? Destroy that. Why not? Destroy that. Oh, we'll, get, we'll get a few. Let's get, get one right in the water as well, see if we can kick up some water. Okay, so we got a bunch of meteors on the way. <laughs> we got, I guess, somewhat of a shower on the way. Uh, so this will be interesting. Somewhat of a grand finale, if you, if you will. Let's see how we go. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Yeah, a devastating meteor was. Oh god. Okay, you can stop talking now. You yeah, I get it. I know. Yeah, I know. I... Is she gonna say Oh, here we go. Oh. 
Wow, that came at an angle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you don't don't move my camera. I wanted to see that like that. Oh my god. Look at that. That's incredible. <laughs> the amount of meteors is coming in. Oh. Oh my god. No, don't move my camera. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Look at this. Oh my god. Yeah, if nothing else, this pack is freaking beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. Avoid the impact site and oh, that didn't really hit the bridge. I'm trying to destroy the bridge. We did definitely destroy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop moving my camera. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I know. God. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is Look at this. This is great. A meteor strike has occurred. <laughs> Avoid the impact site and head The water to is just going haywire. We destroyed the highway. Avoid the impact site and They can still get in and out of the city on this side though, thankfully. I guess I guess they well, I was trying to destroy the bridge, but Well, there you go. Oh my god, look at the water. <laughs> now that's a tsunami. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Oh, look at them. They're all stopping because all the water is coming up. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We should be able to see. Oh, sometimes the water will pick up cars. Oh, I was hoping that would, uh... Any water flooding the city anywhere? A little bit. Not really. Oh, a little bit here. Any cars in the water? Oh, those cars have been moved. <laughs> There's still someone on the bike as well. I don't know. I think we destroyed all the cars a while ago. <laughs> I think all the cars are already gone. Oh my god. Wow, that just got laggy. Whoa! What happened? They're still stopping here, which is interesting. I don't know why. Maybe there's... No water there. It's definitely creating a traffic jam, which is interesting. Um, so that's the city. And that, my friends, is City Skylines Natural Disasters. It is beautiful. It looks beautiful, I think. Um, there you go. A little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. Uh, we destroyed Safe City a number of times. Didn't quite get the tsunami, but I think we got a better tsunami out of that than anything. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.